Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to HBCU Kingdom. Welcome, kings and queens. I am your host, No Win Situation. Now, I appreciate all the love. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share to the channel. So, today we're going to be talking about a Hall of Fame player from HBCU, Lim Barney from Jackson State University. Oh, Lim Barney. Hey, I got some highlights. I'm starting off highlights early. I was so excited about this right here. When I say ball hawk, I'm talking about this boy here was a ball hawk. Look at this, man. First four seasons had 32 interceptions and nine total touchdowns. You couldn't even throw his way. First game as a rookie. First game. First quarter. First ball thrown his way. He picked it off and took it 24 yards to the house. Boy was a cold punt returner, too. Cold. You couldn't miss him. You know, he made plays. All around the field. That's what Lim Barney did. And in his rookie season, he was the punter for the team. The starting punter got hurt. He was the punter. So, this man, cornerback, punt return, kick return, and the punter. Like, come on, man. How, how, how could you beat that? But he taking this to the house. He, he had to go to the Hall of Fame. This man was crazy on the field. So, with that being said, we're going to talk about Jackson State University a little bit. Uh, Jackson State University is an HBCU in Jackson, Mississippi. It is one of the largest HBCUs in the United States and the fourth largest HBCU in Mississippi in terms of student enrollment. Jackson State is also a member of the Third Good Marshall College Fund. Now their athletics, their name, the Tigers. Yes, the Jackson State Tigers. Now, if you guys have not been under a rock, under a rock, hiding in the shed, you should already know about the Sunny Boom of the South. One of the baddest bands in the land, Sunny Boom of the South, come from Jackson State. And they got the Prince and Jay sets. So, you know, Jackson State is world-renowned for a lot of things, man. And back in these days, the 60s, 70s, and 80s, it's a, it's, it's a few Hall of Fame players, NFL Hall of Fame players that came from Jackson State. It's a, it's a few of them. It, it's more than one or two, I can tell you that. Oh, you got him, Lombardi, you got Walter Payne, you got Jackie Schlill. Like, come on, that's three right there that I can name. So, you know, Jackson State University, um, like I said, it was developed uh, from a Natchez Seminary founded in 1877 in Natchez, Mississippi. Um, It was founded in Natchez. They moved the site to Jackson. In 1883, the school changed its name to Jackson College. Um, Today, it still serves as um, a campus of Millsap College, the, the same original site that the school was moved to, um, still serves as, as the site for Millsap College. So, you know, the school became a state-supported public institution in 1940, and it was known as the Mississippi Negro Training School. The name has since been changed. It was Jackson State. Uh, before then, it was Jackson College. Uh, and it was Jackson College for Negro Teachers. Like, the name, you know, changed so many times. But in 1967, they changed it to Jackson State University, and it's been their name since then. You know, in 1970, Jackson State had the student killings. Um, during a campus protest, May 14, 1970, two students was killed by police gunfire. Twelve additional students was injured by gunfire during the clash, and they have a dormitory that uh, still bears the bullets um, marks that was fired on that day. So, you know, I have a host of family that went to Jackson State. Uh, my dad played football with Walter Payton. He started on the offensive line. He blocked for Walter. Him and Jackie Slater. Jackie on one side, my pops was on the other side. Uh, my mom went to Jackson State. I got an uncle that went to Jackson State. 
that we used to see every day when he went to school. And I remember, you know, being little, and man, I'm talking about my uncle coming over there every day. It was cool, man. So, Liam Barney, uh, he was born in 1945. He attended 33rd Avenue High School in Gulfport, Mississippi. He played quarterback in high school. So, Liam Barney attended Jackson State. Uh, he attended from 1964 to 1966. In his college career, Lim had 26 interceptions in his college career. Also, he had nine interceptions one season in 1965. Then, 1966, he turned around and had 11 interceptions. This in college. He averaged 41.7 yards of punt return in 1965 and 42.5 punt return yards in 1966. So, like I said, man, this boy, I'm sorry, this man was a dual threat. You know? Kick returns, punt returns, interceptions. You you couldn't miss him. Look, look at this highlight, man. You, man, you can't teach this kind of stuff right here. You can't teach it. Look look at that, man. He gone to the house. I'm, I'm going to see y'all later. Lim Barney was an all-swag selection three straight years. He was also selected as an All-American by Ebony Magazine and the Pittsburgh Courier. He was selected by the Detroit Lions in the second round, 34th pick overall of the 1967 draft. As a rookie, Lombardi played in 14 games as a starting quarterback. He led the NFL with 10 interceptions. As a rookie, led the NFL with 10 interceptions. 232 interception return yards. Three interceptions returned for a touchdown. Like I said, he was also a punter. The starting punter went out. Pat stud skill got injured so Lim Barney turned around and became the punter as well he punted 47 times with an average of 37.4 yards a punt in 1967 so the man played cornerback punt return kick return and a punter so like I said September 17 1967 the first quarter of his first NFL game as a rookie, he intercepted the first pass thrown in his direction. Bart Starr, a NFL Hall of Famer, threw it his direction. He picked it off and returned to 24 yards for a touchdown. So in 1967, Lynn Barnett was also selected by the Associated Press as the NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year. And he played the first Pro Bowl um, after 67. He played in his first Pro Bowl in 1968. In that same year, he was married. He got married. And he served six months of active duty in the Navy. Lombardi was selected to seven Pro Bowls and was selected as a first-team All-NFL player in 1968 and 1968. So, my man did a lot of stuff. So, he played in seven Pro Bowls as well. So, you know, just some of his accolades. Like I said, in 1992, he went to the NFL Hall of Fame. He was also inducted into the Detroit Lions Hall of Fame in 1980. 1983, he was inducted into the Jackson State Sports Hall of Fame. 1985, the Michigan Sports Hall of Fame. And 1986, the Mississippi Sports Hall of Fame. So, during his time with the Lions, his career, he played 11 seasons. He had 56 interceptions. 56. For 1,011 interception return yards. He had seven interceptions returned for TDs. He also returned 143 punts for 
for 1,312 yards. Three punt return to uh, three punt returns for TDs. 50 kickoff returns for 1,274 yards. He had one kickoff return TD for 98 yards. So this man was awesome. Also, he did some other things as well. Lim Barney, who was a friend of Marvin Gaye. Yeah, the great singer Marvin Gaye tried out for the Detroit Lions in 1970. He didn't make the team, but he tried out. Him and Lim Barney became friends. So, something I didn't know, uh, in 1971, that Marvin Gaye classic song, What's Going On? Yeah, what's going on? Mel Farr, which is a teammate of Lim Barney, him and Lim Barney actually sung the background vocals to that song, What's Going On? So, he was a pretty good singer as well. So good, in fact, in 2015, he was invited to sing the national anthem at the Pro Football Hall of Fame induction ceremony. So, my man could sing and get interceptions. And he played in two films. Yeah, he played in two films as well. 1968 Comedy Paper Line. And 1973, a movie called The Black Six, which is a biker film. So, you know, he did a lot of great things, man. Um, after retiring from the NFL, Lim Barney... Uh, in 1979, he uh, started working for um, a Michigan Consolidated Gas Company, Public Affairs. So I don't know what you know they did in that department, you know, but that's what he started doing after um, football. Um, also, in 1980s, in the 80s, um, he worked as a football broadcaster on BET. And on preseason games for the Detroit Lions. So, he did a lot of great things, man. Lim Barney, like I said, I don't know. Just by me standing Jackson, man, the first 14 years of my life, you know, my daddy, you know, playing for Jackson State. Um, he used to have the, uh, um, the alumni pass. So, we used to go to the games all the time. And for a little kid, like, I knew it was college. But to me, it felt like NFL. Because the stadium be so packed. You got, which I didn't knew at the time. I knew because I met Walter Payton because of my pops. I met Jackie Slater because of my pops. But you had all these great players that played at the vet. You know what I'm saying? All these great players that played at Jackson State. But we used to have so much fun, you know, at those games. And, you know, they still play there. It's not a small stadium. You know, hold what? I don't even know. 30, 40, 50,000? Like, it's not, a, it's not a small stadium for a black school. It's not. So, you know, it's a great place, man. I had a good time. Um, like I said, my mom went there. My uncle went there. So, man, we used to love some Jackson State, man. I still do. So, like I said, man, I only got like a few minutes or so left for highlights, man. I hope you guys um, enjoyed the video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. A like and comment is free. I appreciate you guys. Until next time, we out.